Uh, these people come from thousands of miles away here, and this is how you're going to treat them? This is how you're going to behave for people you want to come back to your location? He was so unbothered. I get so hot-headed. So hot-headed. You ready for some tea? I got some tea for you today. The tea sizzling hot. I got my tea cup ready. The tea hot. I got some tea for y'all today. And we know I usually do negative reviews or negative, you know, videos on this channel. But every once in a while, you know you gotta speak up. You gotta let the masses know what they know. I can have y'all come into Barbados, my local Bajans. So today, I'm giving you the worst restaurant review in Barbados. Yes, in Barbados. No, it got to be real bad if I tell you it bad. Because I like to think, you know, I understand situations and how things can go. But this one is completely out of the park. I told you story, man. So I went to meet some of my subscribers, you know, Chantal, looking at my notes, forgive me if I look dumb. Chantal, they get yourself a girlfriend, leave a comment. Let people know you are real and you were there with me. No! Oh, I'm shy! <laughs> <laughs> look, ma, oh, you got me up here. I don't like that type of thing, you know? I hate it. Oh, leave me alone. I'm on the spot. So Chantal here, she met up with me, her sister, her father, Antoine and McKellen. We had a nice little outing, you know, COVID protocols enforced and all everything. We said we're gonna meet at Amigos. Yes, we said we're gonna meet at Amigos in Time Out in Gap. Let me tell you, so much went wrong. And it wasn't cause you was hungry, that was okay. But you know what really upset me? Is that we had tourists. Th this is the people. If you don't care about you Bajans, fine. But this is tourists that come here that, well, she half Barbadian, so long story short. She live in the UK, but she half Barbadian. Yeah. So yeah, I've been coming here, I would say as an adult, every year since 2013. And I like the fact that I meet so many different people and I haven't just met them as a one-off. I've kept them and built friendships with these people. So every year, without a doubt, when I come back, I look for them. And now, Miss Sabrina and Cole. Every year, without a doubt, we're gonna come back and see you guys. Like, it's an honor, literally, it's an honor to meet you. You have been an inspiration to us. Over there in the cold, cold England. <laughs> When all we want is to feel connected to Barbados, that's 100% what you've done for us. So 100% want to thank you. Thank you for having us. So these is people that come here to enjoy this island, spend their hard, earn money, and they can't get good customers. So that is what ticked me off. That is what's important about this video. I am looking to bash the restaurant or the hotel or whatever. You know, it's just the customer service that we received that night. That was absolutely appalling. First point. Get there now, they ain't a host to welcome you. There's a host booth, but they ain't a host to welcome you. So I was like, all right, I guess I just walk in. Walked in, met everybody, you know, say hi, how are you? You know, get names and everything and all that stuff. Sit down now and I realize these menus look a little hurt. The menus are worn and torn and it's just a piece of card, like, where's your lamination one? What about COVID? Do you not have a barcode? Sorry, my age of me. Yeah? None of these things, I'm like, okay. Let that go over my head. Don't, don't. Okay. Now, the waiter come, young guy, you can tell he ain't experienced. And my man was like, uh, what would you, and he was like, anything to drink? Like he, you could clearly tell he had no sort of training. I, again, I am bashing the young boy because maybe he ain't, he ain't got no training. He had he ain't got no experience. But you putting people on your floor in St. Lawrence Gap, 
in a restaurant to meet tourists who can come back and you can't train your staff? Hmm? He had no knowledge of the drinks that were available in terms of what they were made with or what's on the menu. You know, we, we had to, like, like, like you work in, I work in customer service, I work in tourism for many years. Familiarize yourself with the menus for the place you work for, both drinks and food options, cocktails. You know, suggesting to people, you need to upsell basics of sales and customer service, man. And none of that would happen. I was like, all right, don't even worry. Kobe was asking a question about drinks and all that kind of stuff. Granted, he was helpful whenever we, he didn't know, he did ask a question and came back and let us know. I gave him that. He seemed a little unbothered, a little unbothered, like, yeah. We want to drink. Yeah. Like, no sort of warmth, welcome to amigos, nothing. Anyways, again, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. He eventually warmed up as the night went on. He got a little more friendlier and seemed a little more like he wanted to be there. So they have this thing called the special. Let me, let me look at the special for one. I can put it up here. Now this special, this special says Manic Mondays, Monday's new Friday, snack platters special, samosas, fish cakes and samosas, $10. Where? Where? Do you know what's a platter? Do you know what's a platter? I don't think you know what's a platter. Here's the platter we got. These were fish cakes and samosas, so small, I have never seen any of this before. I didn't even know you could get samosas so small. Furthermore, look at the amount. Let, let me make sure I look at my pictures and I got this right. Five marbles and four samosas. Cause these things ain't bigger than them goji, them big marbles that you got in the world. They here, they inch tall. Now I asked to speak to the manager. My man comes over already aggressive. How can I help? Is there a problem? I'm like, sir, you know, I'm friendly. I'm like, hi, how are you doing? You know, we just wanted to say, you know, it seems like it's a little bit on the smaller side, you know, um, they're kind of tiny and not a lot, you know, said it's a platter and he's like, it's a special day as well, it is. Okay. Or at least he getting a little aggressive, a little sharp. So I, you know, I'm coming up too. I ready, I ready boss. Hold my poodle. Hey, yo, what's up? Y'all got a problem? Y'all want some of this? You want some of this, punk? What? What, boy, what? Oh, I forget to let me know. Ah? Uh, as I was saying, so the platter is supposed to come with samosas and fish cakes. Now, the fella come back and let us know. You can only get vegetable samosas. I don't want a vegetable samosas. I want chicken samosas. So I ask for the usual, which is chicken samosas i believe 15 dollars i can if i if i got it wrong i can put it here but I, if i can write 15 dollars so the same platter of an amount of samosas in this fish cake um, samosas platter is the same amount of samosas you get on the platter how how are you not sadness i try to explain this to him and he is very rude very rude, I must say. If you don't believe me, I can let Chantal, who so kindly sent me a voice note, tell you right now. Yeah, I think my recollection is similar. I mean, we were all sitting down, we ordered our drinks first, and then we were all trying to figure out what we wanted to eat. We all then settled on a platter. We got a platter to share with three of us. And then you said you were going to get the platter too, but you wanted the chicken samos. Sorry, the chicken was it chicken samosas? Right? Yeah. So then that's when they said it was three for 15. But the platter was um, fish cakes and samosas for $10. So when they put it down on the table, we, I think we were all in shock. Um, there was, what, five baby fish cakes and five baby samosas amongst three of us? That really wasn't going to do anything. Um, so that in itself was a complete shock to me. Cause like I said, I've had platters many times in the UK and normally it can fill you up. Anyway, um, it was then when obviously we called over the guy 
to ask him, I think you said something like, is this what the platter is supposed to be? And he kind of looked at you and us like, we were crazy. Like, yeah, of course it is type thing. And you were like, this is the normal size. And he was like, basically you're getting a platter. So you're getting like, from what I understand, a lesser size. But then like you rightly said, your chicken samosa was the correct size, but you still, it's basically $5 a samosa. And I think you then said, but you can get a bag of samosa for $15. And he was just kind of like, so what? Like he can basically, whatever. And you were like, so you can just sell it for whatever you want. And he was like, yeah. And then I think it got to the point where we then was asking to have it removed from the from the bill because you were like, I'm not paying for it. He was like, yes, you are. You were like, no, I'm not. And he was like, yes, you are. He was very combative. And it was like he didn't want to come to a resolution. There was no empathy. There was no customer service. There was no apology, you know, that this is like our bite-sized platter. Apologies that you thought it was bigger. Maybe we should make it more, you know, um, detailed on the menu. Just something. Like, it was just like he didn't care that we were unsatisfied with what was in front of us. Um, He was very aggressive, I found. Um, Almost looked like he's looking down at us because we said something. Because I think he said at one point, "Nobody nobody else has ever complained. So, as far as he's concerned, because nobody else has complained, then that means it's okay. And you were like, well, I'm complaining. And then after we had the disagreement about whether or not we were going to pay for it, we were all like, okay, cool, we'll pay for it, but we're not going to touch it. So we pay- he sat down on that table, I think, two tables away from us, almost like to be sure that we'd pay for it. I mean, I ain't come all the way to Barbados to get in jail, so... Of course, I would pay for it, but there was no manners. There was no service. There was no, he didn't want to rectify it. He didn't want to compromise with us. And I think that was it. The food being what it was, it is what it is. But I think if he had handled the situation better, we would have been more inclined to maybe go back. Like if he said, you know what, Um, this is what it is. I'll give you guys another glass of rum punch on the house or just something it just felt like he just really didn't care. He was so unbothered. I get so hot-headed. So hot-headed. I was pissing back. But I said, Sabrina, you know what? I am too pretty for jail. I say, let me not display my bad behavior in front of these subscribers today. Yeah? Because this man don't give a shit about us. I don't know if it was a color difference, call we the black. And I'm racist. Let me let you know that. No, I don't see color. But when you bring racism to me, I ready. I ready. Call my money. And then money mean the same as any other body money. So get it right. So we tell he want to take off the bill. My man said we still got to pay for it. We have to pay for it, even though it hasn't been touched. I ain't displaying my bad manners. I ain't going to jail today. We paid and promptly left. We also, I remember, that, that just all that happened. And to our aunt's store, Buffalo wings with blue cheese. He didn't want to put the blue cheese. Buffalo wings come, no blue cheese. My killer asked for the spicy wings. Spicy wings, they were barbecue wings with a little tad little hot sauce put in my scene. Now, Shanta has said that this place. She's been to the place before and it was good, food was good, the service was good. So maybe it's a one-off, maybe it's just this one manager in particular. But let me tell you something, that one manager can crush you. Customer service is key. And this video is here to let you guys know, if we don't speak up, if we start whizzing and whizzing in the background, say, oh, no, 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 you need to speak up. You need to say it. What is on your mind? You need to let people know the quality that you want. Barbadians want to like to complain, but nobody don't stand up and I'm calling when I out. Speak up when you don't like the customer service you get or it will never get better. I spoke up and I'm speaking up here. So all of we could come together and let these people know, hey, your service is poor. It is wrong. It is bad. You need to do better because I paying you. 
Apparently, there are no standards for customer service. There's no standards for how much you can charge someone for food or how much you must give them and equality. So therefore, the power is in our hands as customers to speak up. Okay? I end this video with how did they end it? We then went to Cafe Salt and got the flip difference in customer service. The guys there were amazing. They were friendly, they were accommodating, they were packed and they still found space for us. They still smiled, they still brought the food on time, they still sang Chantal the most wonderful happy birthday I've ever heard. Yes, like that. Sorry. This happy birthday, you want the original or you want the Caribbean. imitation? Happy birthday. Give me the cafe yeah. song. That is the yes. That was so good. Oh, she's ready. Yes. Hey, she's ready. Hey. Hey. Happy hey. birthday to you. Everybody. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday. Oh. Yeah. They like my color ring. The um. Happy our belt. <laughs> All right, yay! They were accommodating. That's the whole point. You want us to come back, make our experience friendly, accommodating, comfortable, make us feel at home, fed well on time and even if you're on time because guess what thereafter i went to crave any gap if you want to see that full my experiences throughout that don't go on this channel follow my instagram yeah i'm able to fish guys at cheese on bread at at crave at crave Because it isn't saltfish. It's marlin or swordfish or something. So what's your what's your what's your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Don't you like it? Yeah. Outside of being hungry. <laughs> Outside of being hungry, do you like it? Yeah. So we approve this. Yeah? Yeah. Bad history. So we're going to crave me, Antoine and Sasha. And crave food was two hours later. They were packed, they had minimum staff, COVID staff, of course. But you know what they had? They had beautiful music. The person that encouraged us to come in, he was very friendly. The part bartender was friendly. The waiter was up and down, but you could see that he was busy. So ain't that you unreasonable? It is a matter of how you handle your guests. Anyway, that has been today's tea. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these type of videos where we have real, real conversations, you know, click the like button, subscribe. But for now, these lights hot. And this here hot. But I, I hot too. But that's all right. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, beautiful 2022. <laughs> okay guys, part two of the night, we are here at Cafe Soul, here with everyone here. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Let's uh, hold on. Mm -mm. Oh, we. <laughs> give me, give me a one. You get more right Give me a one. Lick, lick, lick. I licked that already. <laughs> they not coming out. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have the proper birthday party.
How are you?